since his last part. Basically, the intention is to somehow maintain a consistent list of beneficiaries and uh, ensure so the, make sure that no political targeting, no mistargeting, no erroneous targeting happens. And the targeting is done in a transparent manner. For cash distribution, there were proposal for mobile ATM machines, uh, whereby the ATM machine will be then transferred or taken to the uh, to in a, in a, in a predefined frequency to a public place where the public can draw the money. There is also a discussion of how we can use mobile for cash transfer, and especially in the context when. Bangladesh Bank is uh, working seriously working on mobile money transfer and M cash. This is becoming a reality, or this is becoming a real possibility. For uh, in kind benefits, a stern based point of sale system, as you call it, a point of delivery system based on mobile phone, maybe with solar energy and, and what have you, can be introduced, which can track the distribution in a better manner, cost effectively. And then also ICT based system for tracking beneficiaries over time to measure assessment of impact can be implemented. Again, uh, some uh, private, uh, some NGOs like RAC has uh, piloted this, has tried this with some level of success of tracking the beneficiaries so that uh, back can now tell uh, what is the rate of graduation and so on and so forth. Um, recently, PKSF's internal assessment shows that many of the graduation claims are difficult to establish because the person which is said to have graduated from one uh, program actually become uh, dependent or beneficiary of another. So, a, a ICT based tracking system should be able to give us a better data in terms of the uh, beneficiary uh, graduation and so on. Now, present initiatives is, again, is very limited need of rudimentary databases for social safety uh, programs. We have seen use of Microsoft Excel based uh, uh, worksheets in different Mozilla's and union publishers almost used for operational purposes and had no and has no system wide impact. We have seen uh, use of poverty map and poverty index uh, prepared by MOMTM and uh, World Food Program for example. This is one example of what, how ICT can help targeting better, how ICT can be used to find out which area needs what type of support and so on. And also the introduction of farmers card, which is a very decent uh, initiative for distribution of subsidies for, to the farmers. Uh, but the first step to better target the monitor subsidy disbursement, but a, a systematic data capture system is not yet in place, and uh, the, the, it is only mostly being used for identifying the farmers. But a lot can be done using the same system that is already in place. Now, based on the consultation that we had with various ministries on how ICT can be used in social subject, these are the two, three things that came up uh, in the poll. Of course, there, are, there can be a lot more uh, that we can use uh, to, to really uh, leverage ICT. But then I, uh, we are hoping that this discussion today will shed some lights on that. Now the first way forward is, you know, before you even start using ICT systematically for a for social safety programs in general, you, the first thing that is probably needed is to develop a consolidated framework or group of frameworks for all or groups of social safety programs, uh, so that you can develop ICT systems and databases for those group of programs. You cannot possibly develop you know, uh, 30 different systems for 30 major uh, social safety net programs that are in place. The, the need for consolidating the social safety net programs has other substantive reasons as well. But if you are to use ICT in any of or all of these systems, 
you probably need to start by defining, grouping them, making them more standardized. Uh, because, as I said, the reason is simple. Otherwise, you, you need to develop 30, 40 systems, uh, which is not really possible. And then, since all of these systems, all of these ICD systems, need to be uh, need to talk to each other, so that you can have a consolidated picture of who is getting getting benefit, how much for what. Uh, you probably also need to develop an internal validity framework. Again, this might sound a bit technical, but you need to have a standard of how you capture data, how you what data you record, and how these data are standardized so that you still can have a consolidated view even if you have more than one systems to track social sustainability. And then the linking the database with national population registry NPR, a, a discussion that is going on right now uh, in full swing, I would say, with the planning commission uh, and the planning, honorable planning minister in the chair, and the uh, new uh, division of informatics division in the lead. Now, this linking this, this whatever social sustainability database with the national program, national uh, ID card, can be an uh, important step forward. Of course, one can then argue that instead of a national ID card, if that takes too much, too much time to implement and too much money to implement, why can't we do something like the farmers card, a beneficiary ID card? That too, again, uh, if that is linked with whatever national database that we have, can be a step, can be a way forward or a uh, step forward, if you will. The second is, of course, payment system for cash basis SMBs, including mobile ATM, cell phone, etc., can be introduced. Uh, in, in that uh, respect, we can uh, take examples from or take the case for uh, cell based money transfer that is already been happening, and we can also look at how different NGOs like ASHA is now using uh, the in international money transfer routes and ICT tools for uh, doing this international work with the money transfer uh, for the expatriate Bangladeshis and who are sending money through these small outlets in the villages. And use of ICT tool to collect biometric data huh? at these personal points. And the use of IC tools to collect biometric details, the disbursement point again, um, can be considered. Now, uh, again, um, the system is already there, you, you at least use a, a, a thumb impression on a piece of paper when a uh, beneficiary collect their benefit. Now, if you use it uh, in a systematic manner, use the same system but use ICT tools, then probably the data is more verifiable. Uh, than, than what you, you can do now. And nowadays mobile uh, thumbprint scanner is very available at very, very low cost. And then finally, a beneficiary registration system based on NID or beneficiary information, uh, identification number, can form a good baseline for any future impact assessment. And then especially such linkage would enable cross-referencing such data with other socioeconomic data collected through regular service census uh, to identify trends. For example, this time we are going to do a census. The census process will collect some biometric data. And then hopefully next, uh, household income expenditure surveys, labor surveys and so on, are going to collect data based on those uh, biometric identifiers. So if we then link our social safety net programs, uh, even the, just the distribution, through a biometric uh, database, then linking and cross-referencing this data, transposing this data with other social social economic data that we collect through other processes would be made easy and can be used uh, for better monitoring and evaluation. And then use of GIS or spectral analysis. Spectral analysis could help pinpoint pockets of concern. Again, um, the, the poverty map is one example where poverty map is generated every five years based on the Hayes income, Hayes uh, data. But if we have Hayes data, there is poverty map based on the household income expenditure survey, and then have this distribution, uh, social safety distribution data, then you can probably pinpoint better pockets of areas where you need.